it says so. Hi, welcome to Vibration Guide, and it is Lipedema Month. Uh, many of you may have heard of Lipedema, probably more have not, um, and, and not just Lipedema. Today we're talking about fat disorders. Uh, it is Lipedema Awareness Month, and we're going to be doing a segment every Friday for the next four weeks uh, covering different types of fat disorders. Um, you, you'll find with, with me and how I educate whole body vibration as, as a tool for those of you dealing with, with different fat disorders, um, it's not really so much about the label that, that may have been put on your head, whether it's lipedema, there's lipid lipedema, lymphedema, there's Durkheim's disease, there's maid lungs, there, there's a variety of conditions out there uh, that are diseased fat, to keep it very simple. Um, some of you may be tuning in for the first time today just thinking, you know, there's, there's something not quite right here, but, you know, your doctor may or may not be versed uh, when it comes to this topic. So uh, I have uh, some notes today because there's some big words here that, that I want to make sure that I'm accurate with. All of the information I'm referencing today is uh, in uh, going to be in the links. So if you did want to do a little bit more research on your own, you'll find some information. For those of you that have a vibration machine and know how amazing this tool is, and just want me to stop talking and get shaking, um, we're gonna talk about a couple of ways that a vibration machine can, can assist uh, some of the common symptoms that you deal with with fat disorders. And I'm working on a pivotal platform today. This is a Hypervive G17. There's a, there is evidence and lots of study behind a few types of vibration machines, pivotal and vertical. I, I will be putting some additional information, as I said, in the links. Uh, for today's purpose, I'm going to be talking about positions more so and, and more about the condition than, than actual machine themselves setting. I'll put some of that in the post later on today. For those of you joining me for the first time today, thank you for your support. Part of the reason we're here today is awareness. Um, there, there's a lot of you out there that are dealing with conditions that are um, affecting your life and, and the quality of it. Lipedema is, is a chronic disease. It, it affects women mostly. And... Uh, I would say prob not that men do not get it, but there are other things like Durkheim's disease that tend to affect the male population more prominently. Uh, but something like 11% of the population is walking around out there undiagnosed. Uh, the average doctor, even those that specialize in, in fat disorders or liposuction, some of the treatments that are, that are used with this disorder, um, don't understand uh, the, the, the biology behind the fat and, and there are a few experts out there. Again, lots of good information going to be in our comments later on here today. Uh, lipedema is, is, it kind of affects you symmetrically throughout your body. You'll have gross swelling in, in the, the calves, the, the thighs. Um, in the upper body, uh, about 30% are affected with uh, inflammation in that upper body and, and the lymph pools and, and deposits in those areas of your body and no amount of diet or exercise on its own is going to reverse this condition but understanding what you're dealing with is is a lot in, in treating these type of conditions um so right now i'm sitting on a machine and, and you'll probably wonder why you're sitting on a stool why am i sitting in a stool i kind of want to start backwards you know uh, lipedema specifically there are three stages uh, some discuss that there are four stages and within those stages, your mobility, your size, the severity of your pain worsens. So I want everybody to be able to participate today. And I'm hoping everybody out there that has a machine can at least do what I'm doing, sitting in a chair, putting your feet on a machine. When you move, lymph moves. And one of the biggest advantage whole body vibration offers is, is it's, it's a lymph superpower. Um, it's also very good at circulation and uh, so the, the lymphatics and the blood vessels are, are things that you guys talk about not only between your activities but a lot of the treatments uh, because these are affected and, and sometimes stretched and have inflammation when you're dealing with these conditions. So this is an ultra low impact, less than walking um, uh, type of activity and even if you're just sitting in a chair, you can get the lower extremities and, and a lot of lymph fluid moved even in a situation where maybe you're unable to stand or you're unable to stand for long periods. Right now, I've got this machine set at a mid-frequency. Your, your mid-frequencies um, are a little smoother. They're less choppy. There's a lot of misunderstanding as far as how these machines work. Um, speeds are levels. Do not define the language of speed, which is hertz on a vibration machine. And there's other articles. I'll post some from my blog later. But the science behind a pivotal scale platform, there's, there's frequency ranges. 
and there are amplitude ranges, and those two numbers are going to vary between a vertical and a pivotal platform. A pivotal platform moves you like a teeter-totter, kind of side to side. It mimics that motion of walking. A vertical platform, kind of the entire surface of the plate is moving up and down in a unilateral motion. There's lots of combination movements out there. You know, to a degree, that's good German engineering, maybe re-engineered in China or Asia, not so well. The science is behind the two types of movement. Um, in my experience, more prefer from a physical perspective, every machine feels and moves you differently. And the vast majority of machines out there do have an element of pivotal or oscillating motion. The reason behind that is, you know, it mimics that mo motion of wash walking, but when you get into the capability and the specs of these machines, long story short, you're gonna get more bang for your buck in a pivotal motion that they're less expensive to build, uh, what, what will create a higher g-force. And a vertical platform takes takes a little bit different engineering and science to construct. What, what happens in the in the pivotal platform world, many machines are not actually reaching the frequencies that they claim. In the vertical market, the frequencies are fairly accurate, but it's the displacement or the amount of amplitude that varies. And, and there, there's different factors that are effective for your conditions. Um, I encourage you to don't take everything I'm saying today for, for, for you know, research on your own. I'm going to put a lot of information in the next coming weeks to help you ascertain not only is, if this is even a good activity for you, but whether you know, you're, you're looking at the right type of machine for your own given situation. Um, so right now I'm at a frequency of 11 hertz. That means I'm moving back and forth 11 times per second. Um, I probably am I'm about four or five minutes in, I, you know, I've, I've gotten hundreds of movements without even bearing any weight. If you want a little bit more upper body movement and you're just in, in able to stand on the platform, you know, maybe you're dealing with other conditions, um, put your hands on your knees. You'll start noticing a little bit of movement. On this style of platform, if you want more intensity, more shake, widen your feet up slowly. For those of you that watch some of my other sessions, I, I have said this at nausea, you are in control of the intensity depending on the speed. If it's too much action, bring the feet closer. If you want more movement, widen the feet up. If this feels good and you want a little bit more and your range of motion allows, connect the elbows with the knees and it bypasses the forearm. It's a little bit more direct to the neck and the shoulders and you can hear it in my voice. You can relax your head, roll your shoulders. As I said earlier, many of you are affected with you know, that unilateral swelling in the upper body and the arms. Um, that's a good way to get the lymph movement going. You know, you're not gonna be able to get down there and do a push up or may not want to, even if you do have the ability. So um, something else I wanted to talk about um, with these machines, you know, it's not always an exercise. So for those of you who are able to stand, many of you are looking at me right now going, well, I just stand on it for 10 minutes a day. You know, that's one thing that you can do. You can also go for a walk a couple, three times a day. Um, what this machine is to me and, and what I have found and how I, how I became aware of Lipidema and some of these conditions was, you know, just some things I was seeing in my clients. They're doing the right things, they're eating the right things, and it's just not making sense. And through the, the good fortune of meeting uh, folks like Dr. Karen Herbs, Cheryl and Kim, some of the groups that I work with on Facebook out there, there's a whole world of awareness out there. It's just sometimes getting to better information to, to kind of translate it to your own unique needs and what works best for you. So by standing on the machine versus sitting, you're gonna get a little bit more of an overall effect. It's a little less aggressive than walking or going for a jog. If you're looking for fitness gains, I'm not gonna lie, you know, effort equals results in our world too. So, you know, we know exercise alone is, is not going to trim this condition from your body, but we do want to get stronger. We do want to, you know, stay active and, and gain strength and make it easier just getting up out of that chair or going up and down those stairs. So squat a little bit. If you're able, if you have bad knees or bad hips, there's, there's always a hurdle, you know, work within your own range of motion. And, and right now, I'm around at about the eight minute mark. It's been a lot of information, but you can stand on your vibration machine every hour for 30 seconds to a minute, a couple minutes. If it's just for the purposes of lymph circulation to move and feel better, it's not always about doing a big workout. Um, another variation, you know, we do do a lot of sitting. 
Um, if you're carrying a lot of excess weight, you know, you're, you're pushing a level three or four and, and things just hurt all the time, the low back takes the brunt of it. A variation. Bring the feet close because we're targeting the hips and the spine. I want you leaning over at a good 45 degree angle. The knees are slightly unbent or undone. And bring the, once the feet are in position and, and you're, you're where you're at, you're going to feel it kind of in that low back and the hips. The more you move, the more you're going to kind of learn how to direct it where you feel those pains. Maybe you've got a lymphoma in your hip and the tennis ball just ain't doing it. So use this machine, create, you know, environments. It's just an environment. Do what feels natural and good. Don't do 10 minutes, three times a week, because that's what your manufacturer has necessarily suggested. You know, two to three minutes just for the lymph piece is going to go a long way. Um, something else that, that I want to touch on here very briefly um, depending on your symptoms, your range of motion, don't look at this as a separate therapy or something that you're going to do on top of everything else that you're already doing. Um, you know, if you are active and, and you're, you're doing aqua therapy or you're riding a bike or there's other things that you're doing, I encourage you to use your, your vibration machine for a minute or two as a warm up, as a recovery. Again, when you move, lymph moves. And Better lymph is not only good for, for fat disorders, it, you know, it's better for overall immunity and incre increasing our immunity health. Um, a number of women um, with lipedema have other conditions. Uh, some have Durkheim's disease and lipedema. You know, there, there's a lot of um, labels that our systems put on us. What I'd like you to do is focus on, on what are the symptoms? You know, is it swelling? Is it pain? Is it uh, lack of energy? There's a, there's a lot of things that these short spot treatments using the machine more often can, can give you as a quality of life piece. And, and once you're moving and feeling better, then the exercise might become a little bit more possible. Uh, the recovery, if, if you have gone through surgery, uh, many of the clients I work with that, that are experienced with vibration platforms, Scar tissue develops that four to six week mark. So if you've been having liposuction or, or, or other treatments, um, in a passive way, in a non-weight bearing position, there, there is some evidence and some experience out there on the practical side showing that we can improve uh, the effects of that surgery, recover you faster, diminish the amount of scar tissue, and get that lymph and that vascular system going much sooner. Um, I have some news I would like to share today. I didn't want to ramble forever. Uh, before I get to my news, I, I, I want to check in and see. My, my son Dylan is assisting me today. Are there, if there's any questions that you have, um, you know, please post them in the feed. I may not get to them today, uh, but within the next day or so, I will happily answer any questions you may have. I know many of you will be watching this later on overseas, aren't necessarily joining us live today. Uh, but if you've got something specific to you or a vibration machine that you're using and, and you want some insight, send me a message. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for a reduced fee uh, for this group and some other medical conditions. So for those of you that have worked with me in the past, I appreciate your support. Um, if you're a therapist, you're looking for some protocols and, and advice, there's some good information that I share online. Feel free to follow us here for the next three, four weeks and just get some ideas for the machines you're using within your own clinic. Uh, some of the news today that I would like to share, um, speaking with a, a little bird named Karen this morning, for those of you that have been call, uh, following the classification in the U.S. of, of lipedema, and, and I don't want to dishearten my, my Durkheim's disease and, and my maid lung, and there's other conditions out there, you know, awareness in any area is going to create more awareness for, for the other similar conditions. And um, the ICD code is, is, has been a big initiative uh, that, that many of you have been following and uh, getting a classification code for this condition in the U.S. for further treatment and, and uh, you know, a standard protocol for that treatment is well on the way. Uh, Dr. Herb shared with me this morning that June 12th will be the submission date. Uh, the paperwork will be filed uh, for the ICD code. It's going to be submitted by then for review this fall. So I wouldn't expect that code available for 2020, but uh, considering how things, slow things are moving in the last few months here, I'm very proud of her accomplishments and hope that's some good news to share with, with some of you. Uh, for those of you that are just looking at this for the first time, I am not a lipedema expert. I just happen to have a lot of clients, I think, over the 12, 13 years that I've been dealing with vibration machines that have this. And in the last two to three years, as I've become aware and, and attended some of the FDRS conferences in the U.S., it's like light bulbs are going off everywhere. It makes sense to me, you know. So 
I'm here to help advocate and support. You know, me reaching out and doing this blabbing session today is, is very, very uh, humbling. It's, it's, it's intimidating. It's very much like you guys going and talking to some of your doctors and trying to explain, you, you know what you have. I can't believe you haven't heard of this. So I appreciate those of you that have listened to me ramble to the end. And if there's any information I can provide or support, reach out to, to me through Facebook or on our uh, Vibration Guide page. And I look forward to your questions and, and uh, support over the next coming weeks as we, we focus on this condition. Thanks for your time today. Have a great weekend.